It's October the 13th, and this is your Pacific Palisades real estate market update. I'm James Respondag with Rodeo Realty. I've sold hundreds of homes to generations of Palisadians. Here is this week's important market activity. There are currently 59 active listings, which is a slight tick up, but it still feels like a, a low inventory count. So here is this week's important market activity, just listed in the Village Bluffs, 761 Swarthmore, listed at 7.195, let's call it 7.2 million. It is 5,250 square feet. It's a quintessential Cape Cod style, and it's on about a 6,000 square foot lot, just a few steps from the village, so it's a great location. Three levels, very traditional. It's got a rooftop deck, and when I was up there, I remember looking across at the church steeples and the schools and the mountains and everything. It's really got that village feel, and it's got a huge basement and a, an oversized garage. I liked it. Next, just listed on Bienvenida, five, I'm sorry, 941 Bienvenida, listed at 3,450,000, almost 2,100 square foot house. This is a 1953 Quincy Jones design, not the musician, but the architect. He was really well known for his cool mid-century style, you know, post and beam, high ceilings, very light and bright, and this house really exudes that. Next, just listed in Santa Monica Canyon, 546 East Rustic Canyon, listed at 3,275,000. It is a little under 2,000 square feet, and the lot is a little, is about 6,200 square feet. Now, it's down a flag lot, and when I went in this house, I got a little confused, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, because I kind of went up and down stairs to get into rooms, and you know, there was these tandem situations. So, you know, however, Let's face it, that's part of the charm of Santa Monica Canyon. That's what makes it kind of cool. Just listed in the Highlands. Uh, you know, the value package of the Palisades, 14806 Avenida de Cortez. Check this out, under $2 million, 1899. Now it's a trust sale and it has to go to court for court confirmation, uh, maybe not for overbid but it's 2,654 square feet on a 9,100 square foot lot, and the, and the lot feels pretty good size, and it has some views. I mean, what a deal in this day and age. I may make an offer on it myself. Just sold in the Riviera, 122 Corsica. Now this sold off market. So it uh, sold for $7,150,000, a 4,400 square foot house. I think it's a one-story house on a 16,000 square foot lot. Mm. Off-market sale. Just sold in the Highlands, 1853 Chastain Parkway, sold for 6.2 million. 62, I'm sorry, 6550 square feet. And it's kind of like a, a Tuscan Mediterranean, very sophisticated feeling, and it had a little casita and fabulous views straight down to the bay and the mountains. You know, it felt like uh, it was on the rim and it really felt like it had fabulous views. Next, just also sold in the Highlands, 1661 Cumbre Verde, sold for 5,200,000, 6,500 square foot house. Now, I remember this was beautifully redone and it went from like an English Tudor to a very light and bright, almost Beverly Hills bling feeling house. And uh, it had a pool and a good sized lot, 15,000 foot lot. What a deal for 5.2 when you compare that to the village, right? And just sold 605 Swarthmore Avenue. This also sold off market. $4,641,000 it sold for, 3,500 square foot house. Uh, and it was built in the late 80s, three stories. It had a separate guest house and a pool. Interesting. I have something coming up on Swarthmore too, so call me if you want to know about that. If you, I hope this information has been helpful, and if you're looking to find your perfect house, I know everything that's on the market and about to come on the market, maybe some pocket listings. Also, if you're looking to sell in this still hot market, call me, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.